Yo guys, it's Clay here, back with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be checking out the MW2 settings that I use. Right now, this is still in campaign, but the settings will be the same whenever the actual multiplayer drops. I'm gonna quickly go over everything with you guys. When it comes to my controller, I've always played on Tactical Flipped. I came from playing on PlayStation 3 and we always shot with L1 and R1, or aimed in with L1 and shot with R1. So I made it easier for me and I would drop shot with my right stick. So if you guys want to try that, drop shotting may be really useful in this game. I do not know yet, but I'll let you guys know. Controller vibration was on, but I just turned it off because I think I already have it disabled, but you might want to disable that. It can mess up your recoil or it can mess up your aiming. I've just never really had it on. I don't really like it. My horizontal and vertical sense will be 9.9 in this. I've figured out that it's really good in the beta. I haven't figured out the ADS sensitivity multiplier yet. I might go to 90, but for right now I have it on one. I'm going to see what it is whenever the multiplier actually drops. I don't really touch any of this. For automatic sprint, I always have auto attack sprint. I don't like anything else. I just like being able to run around by holding my stick up and not having to press any buttons. It just makes it so much easier and it makes your movement so much better. My equipment behavior is hold, weapon mount activation, ADS plus melee. Interact, reload behavior is tap to reload. My target aim assist is always on and also in the aim assist type, you might want to change it to Black Ops. On the beta, it was really, really good and it was strong. But if they have nerfed it, I'm probably going to be going to Precision. I do not know yet, but we will find out tomorrow. My aim response curve type has always been dynamic on every game since Modern Warfare 2019. I've always had it on dynamic. My ADS aim assist is on always. And for this, I'm not going to mess with any of this. I'm just going to leave it exactly how it is. My input dead zones, this is what they look like. You have to change this based on your controller. Everybody's controller is not the same. So just mess around with it and see if you like it. Go into custom games, maybe. Okay, with all of this, I am not going to change any of it. You can copy down my settings if yours are a little different. Yeah, I definitely will not be touching any of that. Okay, with the graphics, this is all based off my PC. Okay, with the graphics, I'm just going to quickly go over it. You can copy mine if you want. I have mine based off the maximum amount of FPS possible. All right, so for everything on this tab, I'm going to quickly go over it. If you guys have any questions about anything, leave it down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. My field of view is on 115. I heard that on, whenever you're on 120, you lose aim assist. My ADS field of view is affected. This is mainly for whenever you're whenever you have it on independent. Whenever you're aiming down sights, it zooms in the field of view. You do not want that. You can get your camera broken a lot. And the weapon field of view, I have it on wide because if you look over here your weapon looks smaller whenever you have it on wide so in my opinion that is the best and i don't touch the rest of this except for the first person camera movement you want to have that on 50 percent because you don't want your screen shaking a lot and third person uh camera movement you can turn that down as well all right that is going to do it for my settings i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button if you're new i'll have some more videos up for you guys later and i'll see you in the next one